Welcome, race fans, for another episode of Pure Racing Pit Reporters on your NASCAR's official YouTube channel. My name is Andre Wiegold, and I'm the editor and reporter for the NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series. And with me all the time, all episodes long, Gianluca Guglia from Italy, the Euro NASCAR PR manager. And together, we will take you behind the scenes of the official Euro NASCAR Series, the official european nascar series and today we have a very special announcement concerning one of the top drivers on the nascar wheel and year series grid and it's a true veteran one of the most um successful guys in the nascar wheel and year series and john you have some more information yeah it, it was really difficult to start this episode already yeah we are already laughing um with three runner-up places in the Euro NASCAR Pro Championship, 84 starts between 2013 and 2019, 12 wins and an incredible 45 podiums. Yes, folks, it's 50% more than 50%. Plus eight pole positions is definitely our Mark Martin. But sit tight, because he's not done yet. He'll be back in 2021. Welcome, Frederic Gabion. Hello, guys. Hey, man. All what? right, um, well, let's 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 get into it. Let's start with the questions we have. Um, we had a lot of craziness in 2020, and you and RDV competition decided to sit out due to the coronavirus pandemic and return in 2021, Frederick. Um, so, how hard was it for you to watch the race at home, and what are your expectations for 2021? Ah, yeah, you know, it was really a disappointing uh, season for us, but you know, with the coronavirus, uh, I. It was not uh, possible to to bring my sponsor, my parents, my friend on, on track. So, so for us, it was not necessary to race this year. You know, I, I'm the true veteran, as you said, as you say, the two seconds to go. So, no, I, it's not really a big deal uh, if I miss uh, one year. You know, so so I prefer to to come back this year, and uh, we have a brand new car. Uh, we had almost uh, one year and a half uh, to, to build uh, all the cars, so I think the car is, is really ready to, to go on track. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy to be back on track in Valencia in, uh, in one month. Two months. Um, we have a live document right here. Uh, Gianluca is typing in it. Ask the question, ask the questions. <laughs> and he asked me, what did you miss more, racing or fishing? Uh, racing, racing. You know, I'm, I'm a really a bad fisher man. You know, it's only during the holidays, and, uh, and I fish only uh, in Africa, so, so it was hard to go to go in Senegal uh, during la last years. Uh, so, no. so I, I really prefer to drive uh, cars uh, than fishing. But it's uh, yes, my two passion. Um. And we have a very special announcement because a couple of weeks ago on the Euronasca Esports Series, you said that your intention is to stop racing after 2021. So a lot of time for fishing then. How did you come to that decision? Yeah, you know, I, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going to be 45 in uh, in four days. Uh, I spent 30 years uh, racing in kart and uh, different category and. Maybe it's time to thinking about doing something else, and uh, so uh, I, I'm more close at the end uh, than to start my career. So no, normally it's gonna be my last year, uh, my last year this season. So so uh, I'm gonna try to win this uh, championship. <laughs> you know, I spend a lot of time to try, but uh, no, you know, it's, it's like this, you know. But uh, I, I love Fred because he already said it. It may stop. May yeah. <laughs> in the pre-show. It may stop. <laughs> I'm doing this ten years now, so, you know. But I'm really. I think I'm really, really close. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> 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 to so. be honest, it's not the first time I hear it from you. I uh, all my friends say <laughs> every year you say the same thing and you race again. So yeah, but you know. <laughs> but, he was he was telling us that that with his wife they have two shops so now uh if you are are they in the paris area are they what? in paris fred are you uh, the, the uh, in, in, the, in the south of france near nîmes Alès, savignon not far okay. from uh, you know you know a french track no no i'm 700 700 uh, kilometers from paris so whenever he stops 
I will go to that shop. I need, <laughs> I need to buy some clothes from Fred Gabion. I want to I wanna see how he sells clothes. If you want a beautiful dress, <laughs> you can buy it, you know. <laughs> but it's something this is... so but it suits you very well, I'm sure. You know, no problem. <laughs> you can buy your dress. <laughs> back to the serious questions, man. If you look back at all your 12 wins in Euron Escar Pro, which is yeah. the one you prefer? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe tour, tour in uh, 2018, you know, when I lo uh, have lost my back uh, bumper. <laughs> 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 yes. to, to put that during the, the safety car and uh, I won the race but I, I've lost uh, all the benefit points <laughs> and everything but but I, I, I won this race you know? so yeah, it was I, a big problem there I clearly remember a number 3 car trying to shake off the rear bumper <laughs> during a dinner caution period that yeah. was fun yeah, but I had a I had a black and orange flag, you know, but uh, <laughs> I, I still I, uh, I I can do three laps uh, and and go to the pit end, but uh, but no, <laughs> Philippe say no when you have a black and a orange flag, you have to stop right now. Okay, but I I won the race anyway. So. <laughs> and I thought he was not a fan of oval racing. Uh, the first time the first time he won twice back to back. I said, no, I'm not a real fan of oval racing, but I'm quick. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I won. Yeah, my first race, uh, I, I won uh, uh, in tour. So I was not a, a big fan, but it's it's really it's really fun to drive, and uh, and certainly it's really hard to drive uh, on this kind of track because you have no race time. You know, you are always always uh, really tight on on the car, and uh, and it's really hard to breathe. And uh, no, it's 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 really hard. Really more harder than uh, people think when they watch NASCAR, you know, on TV. Okay, try, <laughs> and after we can talk because it's really, really hard to, to drive. Very good advertising, Andre. I don't know if you agree, but one of my favorite was uh, was 2019 in Brands Edge, a masterpiece, a masterpiece. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, with, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's yes. Over, yeah. yeah. This 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 one is really beautiful too because uh, the car. Uh, all, all the all the season uh, during uh, 2019, the car was really hard to drive, and we really don't understand why. Uh, sometimes we were we, we were really fast and really slow uh, just two laps after. So, because uh, I think in Bronzach I started the first race uh, in the 12th position, last or last of the Super Four guy, and uh, I lost one place in the first lap. So I say the car is really is really too slow, and the lap after I've made the, the best lap of the race. And during the second race, it was really hard to keep Spinners uh, behind us because uh, we, we didn't have the pace to be, uh, to be in front. But Spinners uh, has made a really good race and really fair race. So, you know, it was a great moment. I was really tired at the end, but uh, it was a great moment. <laughs> the bumper, the bumper of your the rear bumper of your car was more tired than you, probably. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, and, man. <clears throat> Back to the people. Among all the drivers you raced against, who is your favorite opponent? In the NASCAR? Yes. Uh, in the last, pff, I really like uh, to 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 drive with uh, with Anthony with Under, you know, because it, it's really fair, guys. You know, so I think it's well, uh, yeah, with Tinas too, because. Uh, I don't really fight a lot of time with Tinas because in, in in 2019 he was he was really far away from me and uh, in 18 he was a little bit behind but uh, he's really far guys too but I spent so much race with Anthony sometimes it goes wrong but uh, but all the time it's fair and uh, yeah I think with Anthony we have a we, have, we had a contact one time you know in Valencia a big one. But if, if you look at the 25 or 30 races we, we've made together, close, close door, uh, I think always fair. And, uh, and with Under, uh, the same, because I was racing with Under in uh, 1995 in the Formula Campus, you know, the French uh, filial. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, we know each other uh, <laughs> a long time ago with Under. And, uh, and 
and both are really great guys and uh, it's really nice to spend some time uh, with this kind of guy on track because he almost has the same age and uh, you know the goal uh, is not the same as uh, when you are uh, you are 20 you know we are all uh, 40 38 or the main thing is uh, to take pleasure to be fast and uh, to have uh, to have great battle so it's the same spirit and uh, and spending time on track and uh, sometimes drink beer with uh, <laughs> this, is, uh, this, uh, this guy is really, he's really nice. Yeah. We have one after this one question about beer with Anthony. Well, okay, we're going yeah. there. <laughs> but it's I remember to right now, so yeah, we, we can drink beer because uh, you don't race. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you have a, a, a least favorite opponent, a guy you really cannot withstand on track. Uh, the, the guy I hate the most on track? Yeah. Yes. Ah, yes, Yaneta, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Romain, you're next. <laughs> yes? Why, 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 why? Now but, we want to know. No, but, uh, we, we work together in the same factory, you know, in a school. Uh, work, uh, I draw, um, I'm working near, near Paris, mm -hmm. and I was working with Romain during 10 or 15 years, you know, but. On track, it's really hard to drive against him because uh, because he touched me all the time, you know. So uh, every time we have a fight, uh, it's so uh, bad, you know. That life, it's not a big problem. But uh, as you as you, if you if you look at the last start in Zolder, yeah, you understand what why, why uh, I to race against him. You know? <laughs> but, uh, all right, uh, all right. Let's get back I'm to the team. Joking. I'm joking, you know. I'm yeah. joking because it was the same with Luca in Formula Renault. You know, it's the same as uh, Spanish people. You know, Spanish driver when they fight together. If you look at, at some race with uh, Under and Bora and Borca, you know? yeah. Sometimes <laughs> you know, when you when you come from the same country, it's really hard to fight together because you want to be the first uh, French guy or the first uh, Spanish guy or, or Dutch guy. You know. But no, I mean, I'm just joking. Uh, I like Roma, but uh, but you know sometimes it's hard to fight uh, against him on track. <laughs> but, uh, All right, let's go. Let's let's go back to RDV competition because you built a solid relationship with the team boss Frank Violas, with your crew chief Claude Colopin, and with your teammate Luis Dussault. How important is teamwork in motorsport in general and particular in NASCAR? Uh, it's really important to keep you know. Trying to keep the same guys, uh, 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 and uh, especially when they are really good guys, you know. I, I think I have my coach chief. He is one of the best coach chief uh, you, you can have. You know, he spent uh, ten, uh, five years, I think, in Formula One with Ligier in, uh, in, uh, in GP2 or uh, Formula 3000. After he, he built uh, all the P the Pescarolo prototype, you know, and uh, and it's uh, how can I say that it's. It's uh, old guys uh, of the spirit, you know. When you are working with him, he says, "Okay, if he trusts you, okay, tell me what the car uh, are doing, and I and I'm gonna make the adjustment." And when you are working with new engineer, they spend the time on the computer and they say, "Okay, you break too early. Okay, you are not enough fast at the at the apex." You say, "Okay, take the wheel, and I take the computer and show me." You know, <laughs> not just sometimes that's it. So no, it's really nice to work with Claude. After with Frank, uh, yeah, Frank is really he's such a, a nice guy, and uh, we are more friends than uh, you know team manager and driver. So I spend lot, lots of time uh, in the factory when I am uh, in Paris, and just to spend time with him, and uh, and we we hit together. And uh, no, it's it's really good guy, and uh, he put lots of uh, of time to to, uh, to the team to to make good car and. Uh, no, I'm really happy. So, uh, so for sure, uh, if I race in NASCAR, I race with Ford and Ford and, uh, and uh, nobody else. Um, you're also racing in the virtual world, in the Euro NASCAR eSports series. And it was your first adventure last year in the 2020 edition. And in 2021, you're incredibly fast and you already got your first podium. Is that the proof that you don't need to be in your 20s to be successful in uh, sim racing? I'm sorry, but you're one of the older guys. <laughs> yeah, it's, true, right? it's me. <laughs> so, uh, you know, sim racing is, is almost like in real life. You know, if you want to be fast, you have to spend some time uh, behind the wheel and and learn uh, how it proceed to be fast. So, uh, 
it's really it's really different of the ERL uh, race because uh, you know the feeling of the car of the front tires it, it, it's really not the same. So uh, it takes some time to to learn how to be fast and uh, because the main I, for me the main problem in the simulation is uh, I almost uh, go too fast on corner you know because it's okay you know I, I'm breaking I think I'm breaking too early but I'm already too late so you know the feeling is really strange and after I think you need. Uh, you need a, a little, uh, little stuff to be fast. You know, uh, uh, a good pedals. You know, a good brake and good throttle. It's really important on track. After, I think the steering wheel is not so important because I tried. Uh, I've tried uh, three different steering wheels. You know, <laughs> I've tried three three steering wheels in one year. So uh, I have a good steering wheel now, a computer, and uh, and yeah, spending some time and uh, and trying to make. Uh, all the session, a giant put on uh, e-racing, you know, and try and, uh, and make some laughs, make some laughs. Uh. Someone <laughs> appreciating my work. Thank you, Fred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but you, you know, after yeah, yeah I've, I've been uh, I've been a little bit lucky during the, the first uh, three races, you know, because I I was able to avoid the crash and uh, and not too slow. But you know, if you look at the guy like Tobias, Guillaume, they are really 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 fast. Uh, Andre also, who is come back. Uh, He's come back now. Obviously, I'm not as fast uh, to to fight for the win, but uh, but uh, I'm I close every race, you know. From my pace is improving, uh, so maybe in 2041 I'm gonna be fast and on the rest. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, but but in so the there end, is hope uh, for me. Do yeah, you no. like? Uh, yeah, let's go. I'm sorry. Um, do you like it? Do you have fun on the in the virtual world? Uh, yeah, uh, I, I like I like it, but you know you have uh, if you really want to be fast on the simulation, you really have to spend lots of time. You know, I think for me, if you don't spend uh, four hours by day, okay, you can uh, you can forget uh, to be really fast. So yeah, I, I like it, but uh, you know, one hour, yeah, between seven uh, seven and eight o'clock p.m. in the case. But after, if it's too long, it, it, it's coming to be a little bit boring. You know, so. I prefer spending some time uh, outside uh, <laughs> and trying to work a little bit, even if it's difficult in this time. But, uh, no, but, but I really uh, like it. It's the same passion, you know. I like to drive, so I like to drive in the simulation, but uh, uh, no, not all the day. I have some pretty scary, strong, scary, scary memories <laughs> of you and Anthony doing a commentary, a live commentary at Verre with me. I was commentating, trying to commentate, and you were having beers while trying to disturb me. So uh, can you... yeah, <laughs> but maybe, maybe because when you uh, you are commentating a, a race in Venray, you are just near the bar, so <laughs> so it's, <laughs> it's, it's not a good place, you know. Yeah, but my question was 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 uh, maybe when you stop, when you finally, 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 finally stop racing. Uh, in, in 2041? <laughs> yeah, in 2041. <laughs> can you consider a role, uh, a career in commentator, in commentary, in motorsport commentary? What? Well, well, I don't. You know, it's a real, it's a real work. It's really hard to, uh, to, 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 to make commentary uh, on races. You know, I, I think I've, I've worked three times for AB Motor. You know, for the NASCAR mm -hmm. uh, in the French uh, TV. You know. For Watkins Lane, two times and uh, one time for Pocono, and it's uh, it's really a hard job, you know, because you have to know uh, all the team, all the drivers, the career, and everything, and uh, and uh, follow the race and understand all the rules, and uh, it's really long race too, you know, the last car in the US. So <laughs> it's watching, but uh, no, it's right because uh, the the two guys who are who are doing that in France are a really nice guy, and uh, and I work also with uh, Adrien Pavio, a French guy. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, who also designed some helmet and some uh, some car, and uh, it, it's a friend of mine uh, since a long time. So yeah, I spent uh, I spent good time doing this, but uh, it's a real job. So I don't know. And uh, all the studio are in Paris, so it's a bit uh, it's a little bit far away from uh, from my house to, to where we send All right, um, we have the closing question. It's always the same. One of our favorite questions. Um, we will not ask you about 2020 because you were not on the grid. But what is your funniest story from your NASCAR career? But consider we are going online with it. Uh, 
story. I mean, <laughs> my funny story on a... Oh, in NASCAR. In, but yeah, NASCAR yeah, career. In NASCAR, NASCAR what's happened? In, uh, well, I think the race uh, in tour was, uh, was quite a bit funny, <laughs> you know? And uh, what? Oh, I have no idea. You take me... Uh, I really oh, we caught him by surprise, John. We caught him by surprise. Yeah, yes! Oh, yeah, you caught me by surprise. So, what's the funniest moment? It's gonna. It's not gonna be a story about race, you know. It was. Yes. Some, I was in a bar, you know, in a in Deutschland. <laughs> in Deutschland, and it was almost uh, almost almost eight, and uh, I was watching on the terrace, you know, drinking a beer. I think we drank, and uh, Anthony's come. You know, it was almost uh, one o'clock. He said, "Okay, drink some beer," and I think uh, we. Uh, we go to bed uh, really late uh, this night, but uh, it's not quite funny, you know. It's, uh, it was only a trip uh, made by Anthony for me. <laughs> we don't have uh, <laughs> the play. No, I, I really don't have to. I, I, I have one. I have a little nightmare from him. Uh, Norbert yeah. Green, 2014. You yeah. lost the title that day. The car, the car. Broke down, you were leading, I think. No, the it was yeah. down. The first Le Mans, thing Le... he does, yeah. Le Mans, it was Le Mans, Le Mans in 2014. The, the, ah, it was the final because in Nurburgring, I I finish, I won the Sunday race in Nurburgring, and I finish third uh, third uh, Saturday. But in Le Mans during the first yeah. race, it was Eddie Chiver in uh, in pole position. Uh, I take a better start. I was in front. <laughs> And I broke the pedal box uh, after uh, I broke the throttle. You know, all the all the, the pedal throttle broke, and uh, and it was over for me. Yeah, and I lost yeah. the championship. And the first thing he does, exit, he's live on camera. Bam! He exits the car, take out a lighter, cigarette. <laughs> 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 ah! And come on! I'm not smoking have... anymore. <laughs> no, I'm not smoking anymore since. Uh, 24 months, I think. Yeah, I know. I'm smoking, you know, but some water with I don't know why, you know. <laughs> but we have a funny. We have. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm making it long. But Fred, I, I have your funny story. I don't know if it's really funny, but do you remember a certain 360 camera? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, no. It's not. A, it's not so funny. <laughs> this story is not. I don't know. Okay, uh, no, no. I lost the championship this race too, not because of uh, the camera, you know. But uh, Alan touched me at the start, I was in front, he touched me. I restart, I think, 14. I go back second, just behind uh, Anthony. And we were uh, we were fighting for the championship with Anthony and Alan. And I don't know, who, it was you, Andre, who put the camera on my car? No? I don't Hopefully think. not. Hopefully yeah, not. The, 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 new, the, the new 360 camera, like... Uh, like this, you know, a ball, or, uh, yeah, a ball, a ball, and the ball uh, fall down on my pedal box uh, five times uh, before the end. So I spent all the time watching my foot and and uh, and thinking, oh my god, if the camera block my brake, I'm gonna shoot myself. And, uh, <laughs> all, all my focus was on the camera and not on uh, winning the race. So yeah, I was a little bit pissed off, and uh, I think my coach chief too. So after that, it was. There, there, uh, there is one one rule uh, since that day. one rule since that day. Say, if some guys of the NASCAR come to to my car to put a camera, my uh, my mechanic has to be here and to uh, and to watch how they fix it. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Not yeah. That funny. Yeah, you can, uh, yeah. not so funny. <laughs> it's funny now that we that we. Yeah, no, no. After it. Yeah. All right, guys, 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 guys. I think we can uh, do hundreds of those stories but i have yes. to take a little bit uh take a look at the time so yeah i have to make it make a cut right now here because i think fred after this season we will have you again in this format so thank you so much for your time and goodbye i'm really looking forward to seeing you in valencia for the season opener see the whole rev competition team back on track and if you fans out there don't want to miss any information follow us on social media on facebook twitter
and Instagram. We have also the euronasca.com website with the latest information. And if you have any suggestions, just leave a comment below and subscribe to this channel to not miss any video. So from my side, goodbye. And Gianluca, you have the last sentence for today. Of course, uh, if you have any question regarding the NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series, send us, the, send us to them uh, using the hashtag AskPRPR. Thank you, race fans. Thank you to this man here. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> See you soon. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I have a phone call. <laughs> Perfect ending. Perfect ending. No, Bye. Bye. It was nice. Thanks, guys. See you. <laughs>